What's up, everybody? This is Trey Biddy with Hogsports.com coming to you from Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium following Arkansas's nail-biter 31-28 win over the Mississippi State Bulldogs in a game that you kind of felt like you were owed something like this in a lot of ways because Arkansas has been on the wrong end of games like this so many times throughout the years. And I can't remember the last time they won a game in this fashion, a close game like this. And it wasn't perfect. Arkansas had 11 penalties, 78 yards. Mississippi State had 10 for 78 also. So it wasn't a perfect game by any stretch. There were some moments where, I mean, Danny actually had to tell me, hey, Trey, come back. There's a flag on the field. It's not over on that fourth and one. But, you know, you're also kind of like, why are you throwing the ball here? And, you know, there's some other plays, like it's a third and long. You're like, why are you swinging it to the flats? But what we have to remember is in this, like, video game day age, video game day age, you can't expect perfection. But what you can expect and what you should expect is for Arkansas to battle and for them to have a plan and for them to manage the clock well and drive down the field and take it when they have to. That's what you can expect, and that's exactly what Arkansas did in this one. K.J. Jefferson was fantastic, 19 to 23, 191 yards, had a big run down here also. He was like 80-something percent passing. Dominic Johnson. How many times have we been claiming for Dominic Johnson? Look what he did when he finally got the opportunities. 17 carries, 107 yards, two touchdowns, a big touchdown down here, obviously. Traylon Burks was fantastic. You would like to see him get the ball even more, but I mean, they used him plenty of ways. They threw the ball with him. They ran the ball with him. 82 yards receiving, 39 yards rushing, and a touchdown receiving, 121 total yards, 202 rushing yards for Arkansas in this one. 200 202 rushing yards. That was, you know, there was a couple of factors we talked about uh, on Hog Sports Live about this game. And, you know, one of them was, first of all, Mississippi State not getting 400 yards passing. You know, they're probably going to get 300, but not getting 400. But they did that. They did that. And probably one reason we had such a close game. And it might have been the other way if they hadn't missed three field goals, you know. So um, keep that in mind. But Arkansas also, for Arkansas to get 200 rushing yards was a, was a key uh, aspect of this game. Now, there were a few things that, like, you kind of disagree. Like, right before half, this was a big moment. Right before half, you know, Arkansas has got uh, an interception, tip ball interception. I thought it was a great play. You may disagree at home, but from what I was seeing, um, it did not look like pass interference to me. I thought it was just a great play. Two guys going for the ball in Arkansas, tipped in the air. Simeon Blair made an interception. Should have taken him to half. Instead, they scored, and they had a chance to get the double back-to-back. Uh, plays and ended up taking the lead on Arkansas. So it was never easy. It was a battle start to finish. There were moments where you felt like, man, if they could just get this one right here, and you know, they wouldn't. You know, Mississippi State would get a stop or there'd be a penalty or something like that. Something would happen, and they just kept chipping away at it, you know, kicking the field. I've said all year, you know, I'm a big fan of taking the points. I think teams miscalculate a little bit on the analytics, the momentum swing. The analytics may say, hey, you got this percent chance of doing this and, you know, yada, yada. But the momentum swing is – momentum is real in college football. And so I was happy to see Arkansas uh, take the field goals. I was saying, well, on the 51-yarder, there was some boo birds coming down a little bit. But I was like, kick it, kick it. You know, you got a chance to take the lead here. So a lot of great performances for Arkansas today, uh, individually, as a team. You know, you can't help but think, you know, you don't want ever want to <laughs> – you just drive your crazy, you know, self crazy if you do this. But like, you never want to think. But if Arkansas had gotten that two point conversion against Ole Miss, I mean, they'd be top fifteen. They'd be where Miss. They'd be sitting where Mississippi State is right now, and with a chance to move. Like, you know, who, depending on who else lost and stuff. So, you know, those are ifs and buts and stuff. But man, Arkansas has got a good football team. And I'm gonna say this: Sam Pittman came over to me one day in fall camp. And he didn't say this once. He said this a couple times. He said, hey, we're going to have a good football team. And that's exactly how he said it. And as he's walking off, pointing to me, like, we're going to have a good football team. Like, basically saying, hey, you know, when you make predictions and projections and stuff, understand this, we're going to have a good football team. And they do. They got a lot of pieces. And they got a chance to do some more. Now, Alabama's going to be tough in a couple weeks, obviously in Tuscaloosa. But... I've said before, LSU can be had. They can take LSU in Baton Rouge, even though it's 6.30 next week. I don't want to get you looking too far ahead. And then you got Alabama, and then you got Missouri and Fayetteville, which Arkansas should win that game. 
They got a chance to get to eight wins. I really believe that. I think you should believe that. So, Arkansas football, my how things have changed. I mean, just from getting, just, to, just getting the pieces right. Like we said so many times, like, what is Arkansas capable of? And, you know, Arkansas is a dead end job and all this kind of stuff that we've talked about. And we've heard the pundits say over and over again about Arkansas is this. And, you know, Brett Bielman gets fired and we hear Arkansas needs to know their place. They need to understand who they should be happy with, what they should be happy with, what their limitations are. Hearing it from people that have no idea about what this state is about. People who've never probably even stepped foot in this state are going to tell Arkansas what they are, what they should be happy with. Arkansas has put together a good football team, and it didn't take that long. And we pointed to so many other things last year, and I bring up the Western Kentucky walk and talk all the time. But, you know, there's so many other programs that have been through it, and programs that deserve to go through it. What's up, hey, Zell? What's up, hey, man? Coach What's Zim. up? How you doing, bro? Hi, everybody. All right, man. Coach Zim, one of the great ones. But, you know, there's all these other – like, you know, you look at Baylor and all the stuff that happened with Baylor. And, you know, it's not very long after that that they're winning 10 games. And they're good now. And you look at Penn State and all the stuff that they went through. People are talking death penalty and stuff. And they bounce right back. Tatgate with, Miss, with excuse me, Ohio State. That's going to cripple their program all the sanctions that they got three years later they won the national championship and it just goes to show you you can fix it and you can fix it quick look at eric musselman in the basketball program look where he's taking that thing in just a few years we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves but hey basketball season's coming up that's gonna be exciting so enjoy this one don't look too far ahead to lsu the night game in baton rouge is always going to be brutally tough i mean I've been there before and seen Arkansas beat LSU handily. And LSU's going through some stuff. That's going to be a really interesting matchup. But this one right here today, I mean, nail biter. Just edge of your seat. Am I sitting the right way? Should my legs be crossed? Should I have a piece of candy in my mouth? <laughs> I mean, like you're thinking, you're probably thinking like I do, like too, like, like what did I wear last time Arkansas won? superstition but this is what college football is all about man 68,818 I believe in the stands there were more than that I mean they don't count them right but there were more than that here's a good look outside the stadium what a great venue for college football and it feels good out here right now it's 49 degrees I, I feel like it's like 69 degrees Great win for Arkansas today. Bowl eligible, like really bowl eligible, not just like, and they were bowl eligible last year. I mean, like last year they would have won probably at least three of the non-conference games. They won three in conference. So they would have won six last year. So, and a lot of people said so before the season started, you know, what's what's progress for Arkansas? What's taking that next step? And it's getting to a bowl game, getting bowl eligible, like really bowl eligible. Arkansas has wins over Texas, Mississippi State, Texas A&M. I mean, they got some. They got some really nice wins. That's 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 three really really nice. I mean, all those teams are ranked when Arkansas is playing them. They're all ranked when Arkansas is playing them, and they got a shot to do something with these next few. So much better doing a walk and talk after they win, especially after something like that. Danny said he's looking at me, and I'm just like staring off his face. Like you look, you look like you can't believe it, Trey, but I can because I know. Being from Arkansas, living in this state, covering this team for 18 years, going to this university and college, I know what this team is capable of. I know what the state's capable of. And I've seen it in so many other facets, not just football, but so many other areas where people in this state achieve the basketball program, the track program, businesses. Arkansas can be more. You gotta be proud of them today. A lot of traffic out here today. Nobody honking at me. Walking across the street easily. All right, everybody. 
Arkansas 31, Mississippi State 28. Up next, Death Valley, night game, where the chance of rain is never. All right, we'll catch you next time. We'll be back with you guys on Monday for Hog Sports Live. And get ready for Curtis Wilkerson also on Hog Hoops Live. The basketball starting to gear up. Be sure to follow Kurt Wilkerson at Kurt Wilkerson underscore shout out. All right, everybody. This has been Trey Biddy with hogsports.com, and we'll catch you next time.